Okay, so this will be about the cross section, and it will be a cross section of your object, and we'll just have uh, one cross section unless you want to do more, but one is the minimum uh, required. So what I did, I took a, um, oops, let me get rid of this. Fortunately, this is black, so it doesn't show very well on screen. But I took a um, tape dispenser and I just, you know, went to the bench saw, the metal one actually, because I thought there were, well, there's a metal part here. Um, and I uh, simply cut through it, okay? Which is kind of fun actually. Um, and of course, we can't cut all your phones and, you know, whatever, iPods in half. But if you could, that's what you would, uh, you know, experience, I guess. I mean, for electronics, there's probably no point in cutting through chips and stuff, but f mostly for mechanical things, um, what happens when you cut through is you expose things that are not immediately obvious. So here, the curve that hosts the, uh, the tape um, becomes you know, visible when you cut through. And for example, the fact that it's not a round curve here, it stops and it becomes flat. Uh, the fact that, I don't know if I can show it with the light, but that's I have to. Okay. Yeah, some of the section parts are not exactly the same, you know, so it tapers and so forth and so on. Um, and so that's what you have to imagine with your object, okay? That you're, that you're cutting through the object and the way you would lay it up, let's say if I do this one, it would be this way. You would lay up your, uh, in my case, my top view. Okay, so this might be a view that you already have from your uh, orthographic, okay? And then you would indicate with a cross-section line, which I think in the alphabet of lines it shows exactly, but the main thing is that it's a line and then you have these two little arrows, they're pointing, um, they're pointing in which way you're then going to look. Okay, so you're cutting and then you're going to take this away, but leave it in the drawing, but that's how you're going to look at your object. Okay, so your view down below that is going to be that cross section. And immediately some things become kind of neat looking because you can see them before. So for example, the section of the metal part with the uh, teeth, little teeth, is maybe like that. Uh, then the plastic, where that fits in. Uh, ideally, you want to show a double line wherever there is a. Uh, wherever there is like two materials that come together. But okay, let me just quickly. Now with a cross section, normally in the old days, what you would do, but even now I think in CAD, people would just show that by, you know, doing a kind of a fill with the lines, okay? So if you want it, you could do that, but you probably should, just, just to indicate that that's cut, because some parts are not. So in this object, um, once I see this section, I also see what's beyond that section, right? And if they're not cut, then I would leave these as regular lines. So that this is all my section. Okay, but this is not. This just happens to be. You can't really see it. Okay, there you go. The 
little nook. Um, so what you do is you cut, you take away, and then you look across and you see the sections plus everything that's beyond. So this part right here, well actually it's more like this in the plan, is this part. Okay? And if there are other features you would show it. In this, in this piece I can see that the seam line where the top and, bot and bottom part come together and get kind of sealed um, is. So you would see that and then maybe there's like little reinforcements which I have there. Um, and that's it. So really all you have to do is just, again, if you can't cut your object, you're going to have to imagine it uh, and use your best judgment to show it. And your lines, of course, go all in the same direction, okay? So just do your cross-etching uh, always in the same direction. Uh, and again, just one section is required, but maybe if you want to do two, that's fine. In this particular object, this is the section that's going to give me the most information, right? If I had the actual tape, I would show that to you, right? Well, I don't. Um, some of you actually do have a, um, a tape dispenser, so... Um, if I was cutting through a different plane, let's say this way, then I would see something different. In this case, I probably would put my view over here. That's the light, right? Okay, and I would probably get a different, just a different uh, view. And again, it depends what I'm seeing, but... So, two things are the main part of the main drawing. Your either plan or elevation or something where you're going to show me the corresponding section. In this case, because I want a front or a side, whatever we want to call this view, uh, I'm indicating the section on the top view, right? And, and then you would label that. Okay. So at least two, one and two, one showing the orthographic and one showing where the section is going. Um, so if you have another object, like a key for example, now in that case it's really a solid piece of metal, right? So in that case I would say the most interesting part um, would be the cross-section of the blank of your key. So in many of this, we would, so we would cut that maybe, uh, let's see, I could maybe do my drawing vertically. And you can use any scale you want, okay, just as long as it's consistent. Well, wow, this is a funny key. Okay, well, let's imagine the keys like that. Um, then if I look at this from the front, and let's say I want to cut it this way. Okay, and I look, that's... Then you, all you have to do is just project your lines. see that the main piece again is, is the, the blank, right, the, where the key actually is made. So if I, I'm going to exaggerate now, but it's a little thicker than it really is. It goes like this. Oops. All right. Now that's that's the most distinct distinctive feature of this key in cross section like that. Um, you would still see the other parts. So I would I would simply I would probably still see all these other parts right here, which extend, and these would be regular lines. Um, 
and then you would just highlight it like this. Okay? Um, so what you have to do is like decide which kind of cross-section or where to put the cross-section to give you the most information that is going to be useful. Because I could have cut here, but then what do I get there? I mean, I don't get much information about the key at all, except the fact that, um, you know, there's a hole there. Right? In other words, I don't gain anything there. And what else? Um, in some objects, you know, your cross section is kind of really visible because you can take them apart. Oops, let's see if I can take this apart. Like a utility knife. And it just becomes, you know, really obvious all the different pieces, right? Um, if this was my object, let's do a, again a plan view. Maybe like this. Then I cut through, I look at it this way, and my section then becomes the elevation. I'm a little lazy now, so I'm just going to trace it. Okay. So now I'm not really sure because this has got this interesting device that you know lets the glue go through. But some a few things I'm kind of sure, and that is that my cap is probably going to be shaped like that. Uh, then there is another piece that goes. You know, this may be the... And then there's the cap here. Okay. So I'm, I'm you know, simplifying here because there's all kinds of other little parts, but... Um, And then once again, you still see the lines beyond, right? You still see these lines beyond the cut, the cut. So maybe that might be a line here, a line there. Okay. And then, you know, it's just a matter of highlighting. Oops, there's a little hole there. I probably could discover exactly, you know, what is the mechanism that lets, you know, that screw mechanism that lets me close it and open it and so forth. Uh, and then you could even show, you know, if there's glue in there, right? Um, okay, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, in something like this, again, you could have probably all kinds of different sections, but if I were to cut it like this, right, I have an option I can cut here, and I probably would, the only thing that I would see would be um, where this, where my ground comes in, right? And I wouldn't see anything else, so it's it's like a big a big block, right? Because I'm cutting here, so this is very likely all rubber, and the only thing that I see is this hole here. If I cut this way, then I see a little bit more.
there's probably a connecting piece of metal there that allows you to uh, let's see, yeah, quite like that. So in this section, it will be obvious now that the reason we can get this extension thing is because the hole connects to the metal part. And who knows what that is, but. And maybe you do different kinds of cross hatches for different kinds of materials. Um, okay, so to summarize, depending on your object and also depending on, you might orient your object, you know, your paper different ways. Um, and I would say, yeah, put a, let's see, put a top view on top. Show your cross section, your line, and then using projections, just finish it off like that. Okay, and you guys. I guess you can still see it. Uh, maybe it's, you know, if it's a ball, maybe it did the vertical part like this. Okay, so you should use tools for this drawing, and um, you could just simply show the scale, write the scale, and maybe just show like one dimension. Uh, in general, if If you have an object that's like, say, long like this, if you do a cut that's this way, that's called a, a cross section, or what's the other name? Um, orthogonal section. Whereas if you do a cut that's going this way, that's called a longitudinal section. So that's like the long, the big part. So if you had a banana, remember we talked about that, um, or an apple, right? Let's, let's do the apple again. If you have an apple um, and you cut it this way, what you get is something like that. But if I have my apple this way and I cut this way then I get a more interesting image which shows that the apple is actually a uh, pentagon shape right? so you have to decide which is best uh, for your drawing <coughs> 